this is the third day of the Fort Taylor pirate invasion and yesterday I was on the wolf sailing around Key West and I fired my first weapon with gunpowder and Michelle here told me that I had had my first gungasm and that that was what step Michelle? That was one of the steps, one of the 12 steps to becoming a pirate because there are a lot of different things that get you more and more into this and suddenly you're going wow I'm completely engulfed in it and I'm wanting to show up at every event. Now most 12 step programs are about getting rid of an addiction this is about gaining one. So we came up with a list. Now someone like me who has never really been into pirate stuff before, these are some of the steps that I have to do in order to become a pirate. So the first one is sailing. Which we did. Which we did. Upon the schooner Wolf. So you even had a ship with full sails. The sails had to go up and be brought back down in order for the ship to go back out. Much like the pirates would have done. So you can check that one off your list. And who was our amazing Admiral yesterday? Admiral Finbar, who was the head of the Conquer Public Navy, was at the helm of the schooner Wolf. Yeah, and we fired cannons and guns. And there is a pirate named Braze who actually let me hold his blunderbuss. And he filled it with gunpowder and I shot it and it went boom! And I screamed, Jesus! <laughs> I don't think, well, I think it was, oh God, or something along that yeah. line. So it was definitely a gun gasm. Yeah, that so. was the, you know, I haven't yelled like that, if you know what I mean, in a long time. So. And that was step two on our, ten, our 12 steps to becoming yes, a pirate. Yes, gun gasm. Now, step number three has to do with something that you can imbibe, and it's named after a very famous American dessert. What is that, Michelle? Apple pie. Now, I know everybody thinks pirates drank grog, but really, in our community, the more popular drink and the one that will go before anything else is the apple pie, and it tastes just like apple pie, and it's fantastic. Okay, but it's got a little bit of strong water in there, you know, wink, wink. It's got a lot of strong water in there. <laughs> and uh, so I did that yesterday. I had a sip of that, and it was wonderful. Um, the next step was acquiring your first weapon, because all pirates have weapons. We're big fans oh, of weapons. Nice. Can you get to yours? Yes. This was my first weapon. It looks innocent enough, huh? Arr, I'll kill you. Well, you know what, if this was actually sharp, I could poke someone with a jugular and um, do some damage. Poke them in the eye. Then you need clothing, which we know you, you, you bought a shirt, you're now strapped into a bodice, you've got the hat, you're a number of steps on the way there. So yeah, that was clothing was number five. I bought a, at the auction yesterday, which uh, benefited the fort. Um, I bought a beautiful, uh, look at this type of shirt. A chemise. Yeah, a chemise with long sleeves, and it's, it's a lovely shade of blue. Um, and afterwards, I went to the pub sing. Which is check item number six. Yes. Pirates are very musical. They love to sing songs. And um, I got, uh, oh, I, <laughs> punishment. Yeah. Corporal punishment. Sadly, pirates aren't really appreciated. Governments specifically don't like pirates very much. So quite often, you're probably going to get captured if you do anything wrong. And that was item number seven, is getting captured. And you got captured in a couple of different ways. You were shackled, you were in the stocks, and then you had some pirates that were nice enough to help rescue you and yeah. set you to freedom so you could continue on your steps. And in that, and that's like a little in, a mid step in there, I actually got wounded. And I had blood coming out from my foot. Battle wounds. Battle wounds. So it's like six and a half or seven and a half there. <laughs> number seven. eight, lace into a bodice. Um, this is interesting. I can't really read that well, but he tells me that you get used to it. You do get used to it, and you'll be amazed at it. your posture will correct a bit. Yeah, you'll it's sit perfectly like straight. An orthopedic girdle. It really is. Your back will hurt less because I mean you've got big girls. You know your back probably hurts from those after a while. Not with the stays on. It'll actually straighten out your posture. Okay. The one thing I haven't been able to do is fire a cannon. And that's number nine, and that will be next. We're gonna, gonna have to get you it. somewhere to fire a cannon. Yeah. And. Um, Number 10, sword fighting. I did practice some of that today with Drake from the uh, Fort Lauderdale crew. All right. That was really fun. Number 11 was both pillaging and attacking someone of nobility, and we chose the Viceroy. And I will tell you, in our community of pirates, to be able to both steal from and flog the Viceroy in such short order, that's something all pirates can aspire to. I, I feel very privileged that I was, as, even as a rookie, I was able to do that today. And uh, the Viceroy is quite a character, and uh, you all will see that later. Now the last one, number 12, which I have not been able to do yet, and probably will not be doing, it's sleep with the pirate. <laughs> I bet I could find you some volunteers if you'd like to cross that one off your list. <laughs> well, let's see. I think the cameraman's volunteering. <laughs> okay, the cameraman is actually biting his hand right now. Um, well, Michelle, thank you so much. I'm, I'm this close to... You're two steps away out of 12, not bad. Two, you know what, for three days of shenanigans. And now, this festival happens, um, is it the first weekend? Of it is. December? There are, there are two festivals right. concurrent. There are Pirates in Paradise and the Fort Taylor Pirate Invasion. 
and they both mesh on this first weekend of December every year. And it's, this is a great thing to do. If you want to come down to the Keys, come on this weekend because not only do you get to enjoy all of the other, um, how should I say, wanton pleasures of Key West, but you also get to hang out with pirates. It's, it's, here, it's very authentic here. It's a true encampment. And next door at Pirates in Paradise, they have more like a carnival, um, they have costume contests and that kind of thing. So check it out, people. Arr! Arr! <laughs> Thank you.